Hi everyone. So today I finally have some time to put my nail rack together. Um, I'm not going to be doing any gluing on this video. I'm going to make a second video to show you my finished project. Um, but I am going to sh show you everything that you're going to need to make your own and what I use to make mine. So the first thing you're going to need is a ruler. You're going to need a leveler to get the nail polish rack straight and centered on the wall. You're going to need some scissors. And as you can see, I used some zebra print duct tape. Um, I've already used a whole roll. This is the second one. So if you choose to use duct tape, I would get two of these. Um, I paid $3.50 for them each at Walmart. Um, you're going to need a hot glue gun. And you're going to need plenty of glue sticks. You're also going to need a pencil. You're going to need a blade of some sort. Um, you can use an X-Acto knife, box cutter, whatever you do choose to use. Make sure that the blade is brand new. Um, the sharper the blade, the cleaner your cuts are. They come out really, really well if you have a really sharp blade, so I would recommend that. The next thing you will need, uh, well, this is optional. You don't have to use nails, but I'm choosing to use nails to make sure that the nail rack is very secure on the wall. So again, you don't have to use these. You will also need three foam boards. Now, I would recommend um, getting your boards, your foam boards at Walmart. Um, I picked up three of them. They were $1.77 each. Um, you can get them at the 99 cent store or uh, Dollar Tree, but they're a lot more flimsy. They are not as sturdy as the ones from Walmart. So I would choose um, to get the ones at Walmart. I think they will hold up a lot better. So these are all of my pieces. And my board, this is my board my backboard so this is going to be the backboard of my nail polish rack so what you're going to do is every five inches you're going to make a line all the way across every five inches so this is going to give you five lines my board is a 20 by 30 so you're going to need five lines which will make six rows so on the back of my backboard I'm actually going to put these little mirror butterflies. You can see those without too much glare. This is going to be actually behind the polishes. And they're just little wall mirrors. They're butterflies. And I'm actually going to use the hot glue gun to glue them to the backboard. So the pieces. I have two pieces here. These two pieces are going to be the sides of my nail rack. These two pieces are 3 inch by 30. And I went ahead and wrapped both front and back to uh, make sure that I couldn't see any white. I wanted it all covered and I wanted the edges covered. So I did front and back. You're also going to need to cut out 6 1 inch strips. Um, I know some people use seven, but I'm not going to put one at the very, very top, so I'm only going to use six. This is going to be the shelves. So the shelves I'm going to leave white because you're not really going to be able to see so much of the shelf portion of it. So I'm going to leave those clear, or I'm sorry, white. This is my last piece. This piece is going to go on the very top of my nail rack. It is 3 inches by 20. This is going to be at the very, very top of my nail rack. So um, all I could say um, is just to make sure your edges are as straight as possible. So try to use um, a really sharp or a brand new blade. That would help so much. You don't have to use duct tape like I said. And on these ones, 
I did not wrap all the way around. I just wrapped the front because you won't be able to see the back. So you don't have to waste the tape covering the whole um, strip. I did cover the whole strip on both of these. So again, you're gonna need two three inch by 30. You're gonna need six one inch strips. So they're one inch by 20. You're gonna need six of these again. And these are also, um, these are the shelves and the shelves are actually two and a half inches. Um, I, I went a little bit bigger with the shelf portion. I know a lot of people only do two inches, but I wanted to go ahead and do uh, two and a half. So these are six shelves. They're two and a half by 20. And then the last piece, which is the very top again. Um, I will be doing my um, video to let everybody see my finished product. So um, just stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.